was a long day, but a good day for Kenyans. Uh, today was a reminiscent of uh, what happened over 30 years ago. It brought me the picture of uh, our friend, our leader Laila Odinga, Kenneth Matiba, Charles Rubia, and the other pioneers of Kenya's second liberation. We all thought that we've taken about 30 democratic, positive democratic steps since that time. But unfortunately, today it was demonstrated that we are still stuck back there. The way Matiba was treated, the way Raira was treated, the way Rubia was treated, was no different from the way we were treated today. The gains which we had accumulated has just been swept away. We started off the day peacefully. We picketed peacefully, but they confronted us right at the start. With the tear gas, we don't know what the cause was, but that demonstrates to us that this is a regime which is 30 years behind. Worst see, the, the, the worst part of it is that when we go to the city, I was with Baba in his vehicle. And we were actually confronted with live bullets. The same log policeman who did it to Baba the other day was on site. He was fully hooded and he looked like a terrorist. We took videos and through Baba, we are going to ensure that we pursue that attempted murder. Because the law policeman was surrounded by others, some were on horse tops, and they were ready to kill Baba. You can actually observe the vehicle there. It has a wide bullet hole behind and on the sides. So we are actually dealing with demons, people who are ready to spill blood, bloodthirsty animals. But we want to tell them that that has just embodied us. We are stronger than we are. And I also want to announce that this war is a national war. 90% of Kenyans are behind us. I have received calls from Mount Kenya and they are asking us, when are you coming here? We want to announce that we are coming home to Mount Kenya and they are actually more willing than anybody else because they are the worst hit by the increased cost of living. We are business people and our people, all our business, businesses are on auction. Lastly, I want to tell everyone that this process of signature collection is a national process and is a volunteer process. Within your small circle, pick the forms and have them signed and get connected to Azimio, bring the forms. It's very purely volunteer. Within your circles, mama bearers, chairmans, matato operators, border borders, pick forms and return the forms to us because that will be your voice. Lastly, as we go forward, we know that we are all dead down economically. We want to urge Kenyans not to donate any more money to this regime. We want to urge Kenyans to actually even buy whistles. Everyone should have a whistle. When you have someone wanting to extract more money from you, just blow up the whistle. Alert your neighbors. In the marketplaces, mama borrowers, you are promised heaven. All mama borrowers, all market people should have whistles. When you have those white, uh, uh, yellow, uh, coated, kabuti people, blow whistles, they'll be stealing from you. When someone comes to disconnect your power, blow a whistle, he's stealing from you. When someone comes to disconnect your water, blow a whistle, they are stealing from you. We are not lady to donate any more blood to them. Thank you very much.